Okay, in this example, we're given a, um, some information about different genders, female and male, taking different classes. So it says a group of 10th grade students responded to a survey that asked which math course they are currently enrolled in. And the survey data were broken down as shown in our, uh, our table here. It says which category accounts for approximately 19% of all the survey respondents. So we have A, females taking geometry, B, females taking algebra 2, C, males taking geometry, and D, males taking algebra 1. So again, we can use a calculator on this. So this would be you know, pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. So all we'll do is just calculate these different, um, you know, the different percentages, and we'll see which one's closest to 19%. So let's run through them all real quick. So part A says females taking geometry. So again, we're looking at all of the survey respondents. So we're told that 310, there are 310 respondents total. Well, females taking geometry, so I just find that the row with females, and there's geometry. So that's uh, 53 out of 310. So again, we can use a calculator. So 53 divided by 310, that's roughly equal to 0.17, which is going to be equal to 17%. So, okay, it doesn't look like answer choice A is correct. Let's see, B was females taking algebra 2. So, again, we've got 310 people total. Females taking algebra 2, that's 62 people. So, that should be, you know, closer, right? I mean, 53 out of 310 was only 17%, so we definitely want more than 53 people. So let's see, 62 divided by 310. Well, that's exactly equal to 0.20 or 20%. Okay, so we'll see if the other ones are a little bit closer. C, it says males taking geometry. So let's see, there's 59 males taking geometry. That to me looks like it's got to be correct. Because, right, it's, it's more than 53 and it's less than 62, but it should be a little closer to 62. So let's see, uh, 59 divided by 310, oh hey, that's roughly equal to 0 0.19, which is 19%, so that looks like answer choice C is definitely the correct choice. Let's check the last one just because this is so much fun. Males taking Algebra 1, well again, there's only, it looks like there's 44 males taking Algebra 1, so I'm not even going to bother to check that because... You know, it's less than 53 people, so it's definitely going to give me something lower than 17%. So I know for sure that's not the correct answer. And again, you know, answer choice C gave you something really close to 19%. So if I saw this on the exam, I would say, hey, that's got to be it. And I would go to the next question.